So taking the end of this at the small part, you're gonna slide that end of the nasal cannula tubing in and make sure it has a tight seal. So as many layers of tape as you need to make sure there's no leak right here. Then take a small piece of tape and put it around the outside to hold it in place. Okay, so the next step is an adult nasal cannula is too far apart, okay? So we need to take, cut a piece off the end of here, okay? And then you've got this little tiny piece of tubing. And you're gonna slide that in between here and here, okay? Don't let it block. You can look down and make sure that it's not blocking the inflow of oxygen, okay? Then get a thin piece of tape. Obviously, if you've got a coding kid, you wanna have this put together before, but we're gonna talk about. Okay, and you wrap the tape around the middle to hold it together, okay? So now this is close enough that the baby's nose will fit. So, one limb here, this taped together, the other limb is still attached to the wall. So now you're gonna take your blue tubing and attach it right here, which is a tight seal. So you've got a seal here, you've got a seal here, you've got a new seal here, then you put your tubing under the water. Take your tape over any Sprite bottle, any kind of plastic bottle that you can cut in half. It doesn't need to be fancy. Put tape across the top. It doesn't have to be sealed. The seal is because the tubing's under the water. Um, but this lets us pull it up and down because your amount of pressure is how many centimeters under the water this is. Okay. So final step is we have to seal this part right here. So what we decided would work really well is a glove. So you take the glove, tear it off or cut it if you want it to be all elegant, and put the glove over the end here. And wrap another piece of tape, okay? So moment of truth. It worked on the last try. Okay, so knot here, seal here, seal here, oxygen here, tubing under the water.